Preserving endangered animals. Scientists warn that the rate of extinctions is accelerating with 28% of species under threat. But for 50 years now, the Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute has been trying to change that. Natalie Brand visited the campus in Northwest Virginia to get a look at how they're trying to keep these vulnerable species alive. Tucked into the foothills of Virginia's Blue Ridge Mountains and sprawled across 3,200 acres, lives a collection of animals connected by a shared threat, extinction. I always say it takes a village to save a species. Part of that village exists here at the Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute in Front Royal, where conservation biologists like Mel Songer are working with endangered and threatened species. Say, what are you doing looking at the kid? <laughs> like the Shalvoskis or Peahorse, which essentially disappeared from the wild at the end of the 1960s, with just a small number left at zoos and breeding facilities back then. The work that's going on on the horses here is really um, working on their you know, the reproduction, um, how to build healthy populations here. Foals like this one are helping to restore the wild horse. Work that's also being done here with clouded leopards, red pandas, maned wolves, cheetahs, and more. The campus also grows bamboo for the zoo's pandas, a bear no longer on the endangered list thanks to conservation efforts, but still vulnerable. We're seeing species disappearing at, 10, at 100 to 1,000 times the normal background rate. And so we think, okay, well, we're losing the species here and there. There's a lot of other species. But the thing is that when we lose one species, it has cascading effects. That's why the campus is also one of the breeding facilities in North America for the black-footed ferret, now making a comeback after thought to be completely extinct a few decades ago. Why is it important to make sure that there's enough ferrets in the wild population? So every animal in the ecosystem is important for that ecosystem. They all have a really important role to play. They're, um, in this case, Ferrets are a mix of predator and prey for other larger carnivores. Um, so anytime you take a, a species completely out of the ecosystem, you cause imbalance in that ecosystem. He's got upper Don't and lower. Adrian Crozier and her team are now caring for around 60 baby kits, nurtured and examined here until their release into the Colorado wild in the fall. Whenever we have offspring born, I feel like we, we did our job. Research, reproductive medicine, and cryopreservation help make that possible inside the institute's lab. You are in the biorepository uh, space room. Nutra and Songsasen, head of the Center for Species Survival, says these tanks hold samples from over 125 species, with over 1,000 individual animals represented. By banking reproductive cells and tissues, that we stop biological clock buying time that the technology can catch up and then we can use them. Using science to preserve these precious creatures for future generations. For CBS Saturday Morning, Natalie Brand, Front Royal, Virginia. So many mm. beautiful species and the Smithsonian actually wants our help in naming one of That's the animals. Right. It's the newest pea horse, Colt, that you saw in Natalie's story. And you can take part in an online poll. Just scan the QR code on your screen or you can visit CBS Saturday Morning, our Instagram page, to make your selection. He's so cute. I know. I, the only thing, can I say, when I saw the cryo stuff, I was like, just don't do the dinosaurs. Just don't do the, I don't oh, want yeah. a Jurassic that, Park. That, bad idea. <laughs> Sorry, that's really where my bad. head went. Yeah. But it's great work that they are doing. Absolutely.